Hi, I am Dr. Abhay Kumar, Consultant Medical Oncologist at Manipal Hospital, Whitefield. So today I am going to talk about the lymphomas. Lymphomas are in general called as a blood cancer. So lymphomas are very important because they are high recurable uh, uh, malignancies. A lymphoma we basically divide into two types of uh, lymphomas, Hodgkin's lymphomas and non-Hodgkin's lymphomas. Hodgkin's lymphomas are considered as a highly curable cancer. Again, in non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, majority of them are highly curable. And some of the non-Hodgkin's lymphomas are even though not curable, but they can be controlled for a longer period of time. Lymphomas usually occurs in the lymph glands, so which lymph glands are situated everywhere in our body. So usually the common presentation is that patient comes with a swelling in the neck, armpit, or uh, in the groin. So some of the patients can also present with B symptoms like uh, excessive sweating, we call it as a drenching night sweat or unexplained fever, unexplained weight loss. So lymphomas are basically diagnosed by doing a biopsy. The biopsy should be an excision biopsy, that is we call it as a whole node biopsy. Complete node has to be removed. So it is uh, diagnosed by doing both seeing under the microscope and immunohistochemistry. Almost all lymphomas will require both combination of histopathology and immunohistochemistry. So after diagnosing the lymphoma, we have to stage it. The most important staging evaluation for lymphoma is, uh, nowadays is the PET CT scan. So PET CT scan is helpful not only just for staging and it is also helpful for the response assessment in future after starting the therapies. So other than PET CT scan, we also do some patients bone marrow examination to know whether bone marrow positivity or bone marrow negativity. So bone marrow positivity makes a stage 4 disease. So other than these investigations, we also do blood test. Basically these blood tests are to know whether the tumor burden is high or not and also whether patient fitness for therapy like uh, complete blood count, liver function test, viral markers, we also do serum electrolytes, uric acid. So these are helpful to know the tumor burden. So some of the lymphomas will be having very high tumor burden can present with the tumor lysis syndrome. So where patient can be having serum uh, electrolytes can be high, serum phosphate can be high, serum uric acid can be high and also patient can have low serum, low calcium level. So majority of the lymphomas are treatable with a chemotherapy plus or minus targeted therapy. So most of the Hodgkin's lymphomas are treated with a combination of chemotherapy called ABVD. It's a combination of four medicines and number of cycles of chemotherapy varies from stage to stage. Similarly, majority of the non-Hodgkin's lymphomas are treated with again chemotherapy plus or minus targeted therapy. That is called as a rituximab, which we call it as a NTCD20 antibody. So majority of them we treat with especially high-grade lymphomas with a R-chop chemotherapies, whereas some low-grade lymphomas we treat with a BR chemotherapies, that is a bendamestin plus rituximab combinations. See, overall in general, so lymphomas are considered one of the highly curable malignancies and hence no need to panic about the lymphomas. So they considered as a one of the curable malignancies.